Gab and Elizabeth here, back again with Stacy from the White Flower. <laughs> Stacy's like a series regular Five now. I'm a regular. <laughs> yes. So we are going to be talking all about bridal gown sizing today, how it's different from street size, and everything you need to know about sizing. In the bridal world, people get really confused on sizing because so bad. bridal <laughs> sizing is very different from street yes. sizing. So yep. how would you describe a street size? So street size is if you were to get a dress at like a department store like Nordstrom, Macy's, like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 10, 12, whatever yep. size you normally wear. Mm -hmm. And then bridal sizing, because the designers are crude <laughs> and mean, it's normally like two sizes bigger. So don't freak out when you hear the number. Yes, It doesn't mean anything, it's just, a weird, weird thing that the designers do and I don't know why. Yes, and most designers do go by bridal size. I yep. think we have one designer, Kelly Fetanini, who yep. goes by more of a regular size right. chart, but the rest of them are all bridal size. And yep. Each designer's bridal size 10 could be different from the next designer. Correct. So you could be like a 10 in one designer, yep. but another designer be an 8 or a 12. Yep. It also depends on where the dresses are made. Like mm -hmm. if it's a UK designer, if it's an Australian designer, like some from Canada, each designer has their own size chart and also depends on yes. where they're from. Yes. So a lot of the European designers, they'll have sizes that are like in the 40s. And you're yep. like, what is this? Yep. It's not like your standard <laughs> like zero to 25 or 26, whatever. Yep. So that can definitely be a little bit challenging. Okay. So if you're wondering what the heck is my bridal size? Well, that is the job of your stylist to figure out. <laughs> so for normal, like typical designers, it's based off of three measurements. It's your bust, your waist, and your hips. However, if you are getting a ball gown, your hips don't really matter, then it could just be just your bust and your waist. Mm -hmm. But for measuring, you wanna go over like the biggest part of your bust. Mm -hmm. So it's usually right over the top. And then normally like the consultant will keep just a finger in place just to give you a little bit of breathing room. Yeah, you don't wanna be unable to breathe. <laughs> yeah, and then like we don't want your boobs to be like squished and then have them be like all up in your face. Yeah. So the bust is the biggest part of your bust, so usually over the nipple. For the waist, it's normally the smallest part of your waist. So normally what I have brides do is I have them lean to the side and then I find that crease mm -hmm. and then pick up and that's right where the waist is. Yeah. And that's great for brides too who don't have more of a curve in their right. waist. Some people are a little bit straighter. So that little lean is really helpful for us to find what your waist is. Mm -hmm. And then, so I always tell my brides to, okay, take a breath. Cause like, when brides are getting measured, they get a little nervous and sometimes yeah. they forget to breathe and then yeah. we don't want you not breathing on your wedding day. No. So same thing, like keep a little finger there for wiggle room. For the hips, it's usually the biggest part of your hips and you wanna make sure that your feet are together mm -hmm. and so it's kind of right over your booty. Mm -hmm. And we typically will have brides keep their bra on yep. when they're getting their bust measured. Um, so you're not like totally naked doing this. If you were to be somebody who requested to have clothes on during this, mm -hmm. that could definitely affect your measurements. It does. So if a bride is feeling more on the shy side and they want to be measured over the clothes, then you want to just measure a little tighter. Mm -hmm. um, two, if you're wearing a sports bra, that smoosh, smushes the girls yes. down, so that changes the measurement. Mm -hmm. um, I get a lot of brides that are like, I'm wearing a push-up bra. Yeah. That's fine as long as it's not a crazy, crazy padded one. Just okay. a little left is fine. So if you did come in with a really padded bra on, yep. would you want to then remove that for your measurements or just compensate? I'd probably measure a little bit tighter. Um, having no bra, I think there's a lot of like modesty and yeah. like sizing. Maybe I'd have have them put a shirt on and then measure. Okay. Um, but if I know how like thick the padding is, then I'll just measure a little okay. tighter. So now you've been measured and what's the next step? So it's going to be based off of the biggest part of your body. So you okay. grab the size chart, you take a look, okay, I have my bust measurement, my waist measurement, my hip measurement, where do I fall? Yes. It's very common for a bride to be in between sizes. Yes. Like nobody is a perfect size 10. Mm -hmm. So you always want to order on the bigger size. So like say you're super small through here, but you have a nice tushy to you. You yes. wanna order, and if you have a fitted dress, you wanna order for that. Otherwise, your booty's not gonna fit in the dress. And so it's always easier to to take in than to let out. We really recommend that if brides are kinda like in between sizes, yeah. that they go with the larger size because again, that is easier to alter in than it is to let something out. Right. You do not, once you have ordered the size that your stylist did not recommend, uh -huh. but you push for it, it comes and it's too small, you can't let it out. So now you're basically forced to have to lose weight. And yep. who knows how much that is and how much time you have. Right. Yes. So sometimes we do get brides who 
give a little push back to the uh -huh. sizing. So can you talk about like what you educate them Right. On? So at the end of the day, we're gonna order whatever you want. Like you know your body best. Like if you say you're gonna lose the weight and that's what you wanna order, Go for it, rock yes. on. Uh, we will make you sign like your life away saying this is what yes. you are to order. Yeah. But for brides that are like, I might lose weight like, or I wanna tone up, mm -hmm. great. Uh, we can do alterations usually up to 30 pounds, no problem. Okay. Um, so like if I had like a nickel for every time somebody's like, I'm gonna lose weight, I yeah. could have retired a long time ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Like, it's totally fine. Do whatever you want. Just please do it healthy. Yep. Um, and then we will just tailor it when it comes into what your body becomes. There's when it comes to like drastic size differences is when when there's a little bit more of a caution. You always try to listen to your stylist. Yes. They're gonna educate you on it because maybe you are really great at losing weight. I know myself, like I struggle with that and mm -hmm. like I can want it as badly as possible, but then it just doesn't happen. So. Right. Be realistic, like yep. if you want to lose be weight, smart. Right? or if you want to like bulk up, that's great too. Mm -hmm. Just be realistic about what you know that you can achieve based on your past history. Get a good support team, yep. because sometimes we do have brides who say, you want me in a 12, but I really want to go with that 10. Yep. And we do have them sign that so that they don't come back in when the gown is in. It's like, why is it too tight? Right. Well, um, we, this, wasn't this is what, what we were warned you about. <laughs> so things like that can happen. Yep. Um, a lot of people I've seen randomly on the internet have concerns that bridal boutiques will like purposefully order bigger no. so that they have We're more We're not that alter. mean. Like, come yeah, on. <laughs> I would say that most really highly rated bridal boutiques yeah, no. are not going to be doing that. No. So I really would not worry about that. No, we all. want everybody's life to be as easy as possible. Like we don't want our seamstresses to have to work extra. Like. When a dress comes in and it fits perfect, we're like, yes. Exactly. <laughs> so when it does come to that gown coming in, yep. the gown has been ordered on like a standard size from the designer size chart. It yep. is not made exactly to your body. No. There's even if you were like the perfect size 10, you're still gonna need alterations. Yes. Standard alterations is a hem because they're made for really, really tall people. Yes. <laughs> so like even if you're close to the size, expect a hem, a bustle, and normal, like taking it in somewhere through here. Yes. And then if you want to sew in some cups too, so then you don't have to worry about a bra, that's mm -hmm. really nice too. But that is something to keep in mind is that these dresses are made to order. They are not made to measure. Right. But you can, from some designers, mm -hmm. pay extra, and it might be anywhere from a couple hundred to a thousand plus, depending on the designer and how yep. much the gown costs, to actually have a gown made to your exact measurement so that when it does come in, you're not gonna need hardly any alterations, but that yep. is really rare. Right. I find that most brides don't do that. They don't wanna no. pay the cost. It might be cheaper in alterations. Right. Your size is determined at the time that you order your gown. Right. So if you are losing a bunch of weight or you gain a lot of weight, or you go out and have a breast augmentation or mm. any other body <laughs> modification, and you come back in and your gown doesn't fit, that is not the fault of the stylist because they right. ordered what was going to fit you best at the time that you ordered. Yep. So there's, if you do sort of any changements, permanent or voluntarily, yes. like it's going to change your measurements. Mm -hmm. Like if you are getting a boob job, get it done before yes. you try on dresses because then you know what it looks like too. Exactly. Um, same thing like with pregnancies, like anything that changes your measurements for their larger size, it does complicate things. It's not saying that it's a no, yeah. but it could be additional costs and alterations. We might need to order more fabric. Mm -hmm. Just try to maintain what you are. Yes. Smaller is always better. Larger just makes things a little more complicated. Yes. If you've gone dress shopping and you think you might have a breast augmentation, which is I would say the most common that we've seen people do. It's yeah. rare, but that's the one that does happen. If you know you're going to be doing that between when you order your gown and your wedding date, you need to tell your stylist yep. to have her compensate for that in her measurement. So yep. maybe now you need to go up by one, two dress sizes just to make sure mm -hmm. that your new boobs later down the road are going to actually fit in your dress. I know we've kind of been talking about these body changes for a while, yeah. but let's say you do know you're going to be losing weight. How do you as a stylist handle that when you're trying to determine what size and how like to play it safe, but yeah. like give the bride what she wants? So it's kind of a fine line. Like I want to make her happy. Like right. if she does lose the weight, congratulations. And then I don't want the dress to be ginormous. Right. So it's kind of a good teamwork. Like if she's in between sizes and if she's like a bodybuilder or if she's on like a strict regimen or she's seeing a dietitian, like, mm -hmm. okay, I'll, I'll, I'll wiggle a little bit and I'll yeah. give, I'll give in. Um, so like if she's in between like a 10 and a 12, 
then we'll go and we'll look over the sizes and be like, okay, this is what you are now. This is what you need to become. Is that something you can do? Right. And if they're like, yeah, no problem, then we'll order the smaller okay. size. Yeah, there's, I'm all about transparency and making sure that everybody's on the same page. So I literally have the size chart. And I'm like, this is what you are now. Mm -hmm. This is what we're ordering. There's a two inch difference. There's a four inch difference. Is this something you know your body? If this is in your plans and we're not saying anybody needs to lose weight, please these don't. are just things that brides say to us. Yes. And we're like, okay, let's work through this. You can also always ask your stylist to like, have your guests step out or go in another room if this yeah. is something you don't want to discuss in front of the people you've brought with you. Right. So stylists are really great about things like that, um, right. about having private conversations about size, your weight, maybe even pricing of the dress, right. things like that. So know that you always have that option if you want a more comfortable space. Yes. So Stacey did mention earlier that every gown is going to need alterations. Yes. Unless you've paid a lot of money through the designer and you've had it made exactly to your body and you did not change whatsoever since you ordered it. So let's talk about the most common alts. I know we talked yep. about it before. Yep. Um, one of the things that I had to do for my gown, because I'm 5'4 and I was wearing like probably like three inch heels, okay. is I did have to take it up in the shoulders. Yeah. That's a big one. That's super, super common because again, they are made for the really tall models. Yes. <laughs> so shortening the straps. A lot of brides, especially with fitted dresses, they want it to be super, super snug yes. around the booty. Mm -hmm. um, so normally what we do is create a back seam. So then you have a little bit more booty tush. Mm -hmm. So like even if it's fitted through here, if they want to have just a little more oomph, yeah. we can yeah, let's spin her around. So we have this seam back here. So then we can just literally take it in so then it gives you a little bit more of a cut. Yeah, if you want it more hugging or you can also keep it like loose. If you're like, I don't want it to really accentuate yeah. my bum, you don't have to do that. But we find that brides who are getting these fitted dresses do like to show off all of their curves. Right. Um, and then also taking it in the waist is really common, mm -hmm. side seams. Yep. Um, obviously hem and getting your bustle done. So those yep. are the biggest alterations I would say that are happening. Yep. And then for alterations, it does vary from dress to dress, but I always tell brides, usually plan additional $600 to $800. A lot of brides, when it comes to budgeting their dress, they don't think about like the additional taxes, the alterations, yep. all of your accessories. So keep in mind, like for the full scope, how much do you want to spend? Yes. It's not just how much you want to spend on the dress. Right. When I was planning my wedding, mm -hmm. I had a dress budget and I had an alterations budget. Yep. So I knew ahead of time that was going to happen. We do find that brides sometimes come in and have not considered alterations at all. They get down to the stress, they love it. Yep. And then when alterations are brought up, they're like, oh wait, that, yep. that's gonna change my gown budget. So if you've budgeted 4,000 for mm -hmm. every bit of your dress, you need to make sure that your gown doesn't cost 4,000 right. because then you're gonna go way over <laughs> your total budget with alterations. Yes. Cost is oftentimes associated with quality, like yes. to a point. <laughs> and if you are going to somebody who is a professional business and they're only charging you like $100 to do all of this, unless they run, have run, hundreds run. <laughs> of just mind blowing, amazing mm -hmm. reviews. I would not trust that. We yeah. have seen a lot of brides come to us who had gone really cheap for their yep. alterations and now we have to fix it because yep. the person didn't know what they were doing. Maybe it was the fabric they'd never worked with, the right. beading. So that happens a yeah. good bit. Or we even, like I had a bride recently that she called, her wedding was in three weeks. She went and got it altered somewhere else. She didn't buy from us yeah. and the dress was completely destroyed. Yeah. So if you aren't using us, you didn't get your gown from us, you don't live nearby, mm -hmm. please, please make sure that you're using a bridal seamstress. Yes. Not somebody that's just a regular tailor, a regular seamstress, because these fabrics are really tricky to work with. That is just about it for bridal sizing. Um, when you do go into your appointment and they put the sample gown on mm. you from the floor, usually those are around a bridal size 10 to 12. Yep. So a street six to eight. Um, if you're larger than that, we might just not zip it up all the way. There's things that we can do in the appointment or your stylist where you're going can do to make sure that you can visualize it enough. If you're a good bit smaller than that, we will yep. be clipping the gown. So Stacy will demonstrate what we'll do. Clip it in different places. We can also clip it under the booty like we talked about to show a bride how it would be accentuated. Now, obviously, sometimes there's things we can't clip to make it like perfectly yeah. different straps. I find straps, crazy straps can be hard. Or even if it has like a beautiful like tool or illusion neckline, yes. like you can't clip that. It's so thin, right. it'll rip, it's slippery. Yes. Um, also like another thing that's really kind of a cool thing that we do is 
We clip the back so you can see what it looks like in the front, but if mm -hmm. you're like, ooh, like I really wanna see what it would look like, we'll yes. move the clips to the front so then you can get the full visual of what it would look like front and back. Yeah. As much as we would love to carry every single size, we're not that big of a store and that's no. a lot of money. Yes. So like, we try to do as best we can with the sizing and we clip it as best as we can, but sometimes you need to use your imaginations just a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, in the future, we are going to be doing videos on things like sample dresses and sample sales. And we are actually going to have a really exciting virtual nationwide event coming up for sample gowns First in the next one few months. Ever. Yes. So we have a lot of really exciting things coming out. And again, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, let us know down in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye.